Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. So, Aries, what do we have for Aries? May 2020, this is for May. What do we have for Aries? You know, what I see is the judgment. Judgment is truth, karma, being held accountable, responsibility being assigned. Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to be judged? Because that's what judgment is about. So there could be a judgment being made sometime in May. Okay? Are you ready to be judged? Because it is, it's like judgment day is upon you. However that resonates for you, there's something could be due with the court or universal law because uh, judgment is a card is a karma okay it is karma so there's there's some sort of judgment that is being made um and you are involved okay so are you ready to be judged because this is going to be a month of judgment for you so what do we have for Aries? Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. It is There is going to be a judgment that is made and you are somehow involved, okay? Um, door to personal healing and happiness. Now this is fantastic. This is a seven. Seven is a number from heaven. And if you look through, go through them doors, it looks like it's heaven. Okay, it does. It looks like it's heaven. So there's a blessing, okay? Rainbow is... Uh, difficulty the difficulty is over rainbow is a symbol of peace so peace after being in a difficult situation so whatever is happening you are um i think you're going to come out in a better place okay if there's going to be a judgment made i think the judgment is going to go in your favor that's what i'm trying to say okay i think that there's going to be a peaceful resolution or whatever this is uh, you're going through a new doorway and it is going to bring you healing and happiness. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it looks like, I mean, if you look, it looks like there's heaven through them doors. Okay. It does. So it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's quite a sight. Okay. And it's a feeling too. It's a beautiful feeling. So, uh, congratulations, whatever that is. It looks very positive to me. The door is opening to personal healing and happiness. Whatever judgment is being made this month, it is going to go in your favor, okay? Um, that's a fight. That's a battle. You've probably been battling. You've probably been up against some stiff competition, right? And, you know, you've probably been... It's, it's tough. I think that you've been in a really tough position where you've had a lot of people pointing at you, blaming you for things, and you probably felt a little worn down, but you've overcome it, right? It's really tough. It's tough to be on top. Six of Cups, you're, there could be a reconciliation with somebody. There could be a reconciliation with somebody that you already know. The Six of Cups is about memories. It's about memories of love. It's, it's about children. Um, it's about rekindling as well. So you may be reconciling with somebody that you were fighting with or somebody that was abandoned or something like that. This could be some sort of reconciliation. Now, I'll get somebody that comments below. I don't want somebody from my past. A reconciliation can be with anybody. It can be with your child. It can be with a mother. It can be with a friend. It can be with an ex or it can be with somebody from a past life. It could be with somebody that you went to school with. It could be with somebody that you had a one night stand with. It could be with somebody that you knew a long, long time ago. It doesn't have to be the one that you hate, okay? Now, this is a choice, a painful, stressful decision. You are going to be making a, a stressful decision. I feel like you've been blocking your emotions. You may have been in a state of denial. You may have had some double loyalty. You may have had some loyalty to one person. Maybe it was somebody from your past. But you, so you've been blocking your emotions. Okay. You may have some loyalty to somebody that you're with now. There's loyalty to two different situations here. And I think that you've been stuck. You've been stuck in a situation having a hard time choosing which way to go. I feel like you are needing to open up you're needing to let your guard down you should be speaking up for yourself you should be speaking your truth 
I feel like you've been you've been stuck. You've been really stuck in having to make a, a really difficult decision, and it and it is a choice. It's a choice between two people or two paths. You've been facing a lot of opposition, and I think that you've been fearful. I think you've been torn. Right? You've been torn in two different directions, and you may have been unable to see the truth. You may have been blinded. You may have been wearing a mask. Somebody may have. Um, been pretending to be somebody that they were not or they may have been pulling the wool over your eyes i think that is probably the case maybe it's somebody that you have been dealing with or somebody that you were with in the past has probably pulled the wool right over your eyes so anyhow um somebody has i think you wow we definitely have a def difficult decision here you have a choice between two it's pretty evident to a choice between two paths i feel like uh, you've missed an opportunity because you see the ships are sailing away while you've been going back and forth with somebody from your past. So you've been going back and forth with somebody, um, playing games, because this is a game, playing games, you know, juggling, trying to adapt, trying to be flexible, trying to make everybody happy, right? Meanwhile, you are probably feeling overwhelmed. You know, you're feeling overwhelmed because you're not being taken care of yourself. It's like you, you're, you're trying to make everybody else happy, but what about you? What about you? I think that you have missed a, an opportunity playing with somebody, playing games with somebody. Um, but I think that you are about to let something go because you can only do this for so long before you trip and fall or you get hurt or you make a poor decision or you just get exhausted from playing these games, whatever it is that you're playing. Um, Three of Wands reversed. Wasted time. Somebody has wasted a lot of time not seeing. And here we have not seeing either. Somebody wasn't seeing. There was a lack of foresight. They weren't seeing who they were dealing with. Somebody was definitely pulling the wool over your eyes. And I think that you were trying really, really, really hard to, to deal with it. But I think that there's about to be uh, a slip up. Somebody's about to slip up in some way. Um... Three of Wands reversed. There's a, there's, you, you, you know, uh, no vision. You just didn't see. You didn't see. You didn't. You didn't see, which is sad. That's naive. No offense, Aries. Justice. There's been some unfair treatment. Justice reversed. Somebody's been lying. Some, this is bad karma. Somebody has been lying. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. You're dealing with a liar. Somebody that doesn't tell the truth. Somebody that uh, is very skilled at playing games. This person is very tricky. Um, there's probably been some sort of... Uh, well, I saw a judgment at the beginning. This is very similar to the judgment card, but this one is reversed. So there's been a decision that has been made that probably didn't make somebody happy. Okay? Somebody's not happy with the outcome when you get the justice reversed. They place blame. They're very argumentative. Argumentative. Um, they're not happy. They're not happy. They don't want to be held accountable. They're dishonest. Um, they lie. So you, you know, I think that you're fighting against somebody who lies. You're dealing with a liar here. But this person is very uh, flexible. This person is very capable of pulling the wool over your eyes. You're dealing with a master manipulator here. And I don't even need the magician card to see it. You are dealing with a massive liar. And there's been an injustice. And maybe there's been an injustice with your children. Because this is children. There could be, if you have children. For some of you, there's been an injustice. Now, this is playing games. Somebody here, the Two of Pentacles, is playing games. Trying to find balance. Juggling, going back and forth. We have a, we have a, we have a lot of stress here. We have a lot of stress. Hangman. Woo! Hangman. We have somebody here that is stuck stuck needing to let go of somebody needing to let go of of this you can't you can't you, there's no you, you got to make a choice you're going to be making a choice this month the choice between two options one of these people that you are dealing with is a huge liar they are a big 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 liar 
And I feel like you have been struggling to let go of this person. You're probably trying to be optimistic, trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. There's a lot of thinking going on, right? So I think you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking about who's been lying, what they've been doing, justice, the unfair treatment, thinking about your children, thinking about the past. You're probably thinking about everything that has happened. Maybe you're starting to realize, because judgment is a card of realization. It is. Maybe you're starting to realize that somebody pulled the wool over your eyes. I hope that is the case. I think that you've been you've been uh, facing some real challenges, and I think you've been facing challenges because you're dealing with somebody who is a massive liar. Yep, something is about to open up. Some 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 sort of truth is about to be shared. Okay, somebody's been hiding something, and maybe it even has to do with money. Somebody may have been hanging on to you just for the money. Or using you for money. They don't care about love, obviously. They don't care about your love life. There's no love here in these cards. It was in the past. You probably had an opportunity for it. I think that you got somebody in your vicinity. Maybe it's in your life that is blocking you from love. They're blocking you from a soulmate. They're blocking you from whatever it is, wherever you're supposed to go. They are. You are dealing with somebody who is very dishonest. And they're using you for money. They are using you for money. And it's affecting your your relationships. Whoever this person is. You're dealing with a very selfish individual. Very selfish. Very needy. But you do have an opportunity for love here. But you've got to look at things from a new perspective. I think you've done a lot of time. You've had a time out. This is a time of isolation, right? This time out, this time of isolation is giving you time to think. Think about true love. Think about what love is. And I think you have an opportunity of love. This is the hand of God giving you an opportunity for love. So you are going to be given an opportunity for love if you could see it. If you could, you know, see it for what it is. But you are going to have to make a choice here because these are both choices and you're going to have to open your eyes and take the mask off and accept the truth of whoever it is that you're dealing with that, that you've been holding on to. This is somebody that you're holding on to that you need to let go of. There's an opportunity. This is big emotional fulfillment. This is, this is the, this is the, this is the biggest opportunity for love that you could get. The Ace of Cups. It's huge. This is new love, happiness, affection. But you got to be honest with yourself. You got to go after it. You got to you got to go after it. It's like here it is. They have it for you. They have this opportunity for love. So you're going to be getting an opportunity to be loved. But you're going to have to look at things from a new perspective. And you can't, this is a hanged man. You can't keep hanging onto something from your past. That isn't love. You've got to open your eyes and stop blocking love. This person can't be a part of your future. They're not a part of your future. You need to light leave the past behind. It's in the past for a reason. So I think that you are going to need to make a painful, stressful decision. To focus on your future and leave the past behind. Because you can't have both. And you can't use the children as an excuse. If you want love, you're going to have to fight for love. And you have to let go of people and things that are only using you for money, are only using you for whatever reason. You have an unexpected choice in love. You have a, you have a chance to unite with a soulmate. That thing is falling. Yeah. That's a soulmate connection right there. I'm sorry.
so yeah, I mean, you have a, you have, in, in the, you know, falling in love. You might as well say that, right? A chance to fall in love with somebody. Somebody that is perfect for you. This is a soulmate connection. It really is. This is a soulmate connection. It is meant to be. But this is also a choice. The lovers is a choice. It's a choice between two. So you have to choose. This is not, you know, who you think it is. This person may not fit the description. They may not be what you thought. They're not who you probably asked about or who you thought it was. But it's, it's the perfect match. So this is a difficult choice. You are going to be making a choice in May in regards to a soulmate connection with somebody that you have a spiritual connection with. You have, a, you have a spiritual connection with this person. You have a sexual connection with this person. This is falling in love. You are going to have the opportunity to reconnect. And I think it is a reconnection with somebody that you have been with before. But there is... And, and it may be somebody that you've been with in a past life, okay? So don't forget about that. Because there's also a choice between somebody that you, uh, you know, there's a choice between two. So I, there is a choice between two that is very evident. So there's probably somebody else that you have been hanging on to. Perhaps it's time to put that person in the past. So you are going to be making a choice. You can choose to fall in love. Or you can choose to uh, stay st hanging on and stay stuck to somebody that is using you for money. Because that's what I see. So in May, you're going to be making a choice based on the facts, based on the truth. The power is going to be in your hands. Okay? The power, the truth is going to be in your hands. As a sort of power, it's a sort of truth. Knowing the truth, seeing the truth, accepting the truth, and taking a new approach. You are going to be communicating with a soulmate in May. You are. This could be the love of your life. But you are going to have to choose between this soulmate and somebody else that is using you for money. Good luck.